Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to be uh, graphing this quadratic, this parabola in standard form. So here I've written out all the steps for how to graph a quadratic that's in standard form. Of course, there is uh, another way to do it. You could also uh, factor a quadratic in standard form first and then use the factored form method, or you could switch it to vertex form using the completing the square method and then uh, graph it that way. But in this, um, in this exercise in particular, I'm going to show you uh, how to graph a quadratic that's in standard form without first changing the form. Uh, so the first thing we need to do is find the axis of symmetry, which is negative b over 2a. And keep in mind that the axis of symmetry always indicates the x-coordinate of the vertex. And that's kind of why we want to find it, to be honest, because if we know the x-coordinate of the vertex, we can then find the y-coordinate of the vertex. And knowing where the vertex is and being able to plot that is a key part of being able to plot the quadratic in general. We can't really accurately plot the quadratic if we don't even know where the vertex is. Uh, so let's do that. Let's do it. So here I have x equals negative b. So in this case, negative negative 6 over 2a. So 2 times negative 0.5. That's going to be 6 over negative 1, which is negative 6. So x is negative 6 is our axis of symmetry. And while we're thinking about it, I'm just going to plot that here. I'm just going to plot axis of symmetry x is negative 6, like that. Okay, cool. Now what I need to do is I need to plug negative 6 in for x and solve for g of x, or y, in order to find the y-coordinate, or g of x-coordinate, of our vertex. So let's do that. g of negative 6 is equal to negative 0 0.5 times negative 6 squared minus 6 times negative 6 plus 3 which is equal to negative 0 0.5 times 36 plus 36 plus 3, which is equal to, well, let's see, 36 times negative 0 0.5, that's going to be negative uh, 18 plus 36 plus 3. And let's see, that's going to be 18 plus 3, 21, 21. Awesome. Okay, so there we go. It's uh, 21, which is actually quite a bit higher than this graph is uh, going. So what I'm going to do for that, I'm actually going to change the scale of the y-axis for this one because we need, we need to be able to indicate where the vertex is. That's not optional. So uh, let's do every two squares can represent uh, 5, let's say 5, 10, 15, 20. And then now we can do that. And it is negative at least. Okay, so we'll be able to, to go down. All right, so right about there, a little bit above 20, because it's 21 technically, right, um, is going to be where our vertex is. So there we go. Uh, the next thing we need to do is we need to uh, check if A is less than 0. And if A is less than 0, or in other words, if A is a negative number, um, that means we need to reflect in the x-axis. Now keep in mind, the a value just means the leading coefficient in this case. So that's going to be negative 0 0.5. And that is indeed less than uh, 0, right? That is indeed a negative number. So that means that, yes, we will be reflecting, right? We will be doing a reflection. And that means that the um, parabola is going to be opening down instead of opening up. The other thing is that if a, the absolute value of a is not 1, we have to stretch or compress by the factor. So in this case, it's not 1, it's 0.5. So we're going to multiply every number by 0.5, and we're also going to be going down instead of going up. So just as a reminder, for our uh, parent quadratic function, the pattern is over 1, up 1, over 2, up 4. But we're going to change that pattern to down instead of up, and also multiply the y values by 0.5. So let's start with over 1, up 1. Well, first we're going to change that to over 1, down 1. And also we need to change the 1 to point, uh, 0 0.5 as well. So over 1, down 0 0.5, which as a reminder, you know, since we changed our y scale, it's not even going to quite be on that 20 line, right? These points are, um, with respect to y, are 20.5 still. Uh, the next one is over 2 down 4. Now in this case, it's going to be over 2 down uh, half of 4, right, which is going to be 2. So over 2 down 2. So over 2 and down 2 is going to get us right here to 19, like that. 
So a little bit below the 20 line. And there we go. And then I'm just going to draw, sketch that parabola like that. And there we go. So there we have it. Those are the steps for graphing a quadratic in standard form without changing the form to some other form, which is, a, which is another valid way to do it, of course. But I also wanted to show how we can do it without necessarily having to do that extra step of switching forms before graphing. All right, as always, leave any uh, questions you have in the comments, and we'll see you for the next one.